Another hot topic, David, these days is personal branding. And I believe due to COVID, everyone is doing Zoom interviews or doing Zoom web, uh, webinars and stuff like that, and having an online presence. In that sense, uh, as a brand a strategist yourself, what tips you can have for job seekers who are not used to creating content or who are new to Canada immigrating here, and the best way to find jobs is through networking, online presence, sharing content. So what can you give them? Any tips? Well, the, the biggest tip is to, to remember that you are your biggest differentiator, not what you do. It is an emotional game as in we make our decisions emotionally human beings are driven by our emotions right and so uh, not to diminish the skills that you have that you can apply but that is not uh, that's not what will really set you apart from others what will set you apart from others is just getting really clear who you are as a person and the type of uh, value you bring as an individual, the emotional intelligence. You'll you'll hear lots of uh, individuals uh, talking about uh, emotional intelligence versus IQ, right? Intell the intellectual side of things, the knowing and the doing, and they they need to operate together in tandem really well. When when you are out there and everybody. Uh, you're out there with everybody else that's doing the same thing, trying to fill that role for that particular job. The only way you can differentiate yourself is by embracing you and all the quirks and idiosyncrasies that we come with, right? There is only one of you. And if you were to actually take that on as a as an exercise in um, in expanding and and showing up in a public capacity, building your 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 public profile, right, your personal brand, uh, well, that's really where the reputation work happens, and where people go, well, yeah, no, I've I've heard about him or her, and uh, she does all of these things, and she'd be interesting, or he'd be interesting to. Uh, uh, to work here, you know, there, there's now work that it's doing well before, well after you even interact with somebody, right? Uh, so you want to you want to bring that and be really mindful of that, bring it forward. I believe that's how we met. We were on online, I believe, on a LinkedIn post or something, and I felt that we have something in common. And I reached out to you, and we communicated. We built a relationship, and now we are doing this interview. It's all about building relationships. Absolutely, yeah, and and it really is about relationships. So there's a nuance here that many, unfortunately, even seasoned people, uh, professionals, forget about or don't even realize that they're not doing it and and that is they, they just come to the conversation with the what's in it for me attitude and that doesn't work so not to say that that you're you should be selfless implicitly and you should always be supporting and and doing things for others at the end of the day we need to address what's in it for us uh, but if you if you come to a relationship with the intention to be of service and provide value and, and do something meaningful and worthwhile that has you, that, that kind of stuff has you be remembered, right? Focus on those things. Thank you for those tips, David. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of personal branding or how people can use LinkedIn to get build relationship or network, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video and tune in tomorrow for another question with David.